six six When you think of pie, most people's minds lean towards the dessert version. For these grade school students, today, pie is the 3.14 version that represents the ratio of a circle circumference to its diameter. And in this case, a memorization challenge to see how many of pie's decimal points you can recite. I was blown away. Last year, we, our winner was 118 digits. This year, we had three grade 5 students in this class who were over, over last year's winner. Six, five, three, five, eight, nine, seven. For some, it is an image that's in their head and they're just reciting it from the image. For others, it's grouping of numbers, of digits, so kind of like a phone number, three digits or four digits, uh, to watch that go. Um, one year I had a student who told me the, the digits just showed up in his, in his mind. And that one's always boggled me because I think I would love to, to have things just show up in my mind and be able to, to recite it. The goal? To beat your personal best. And while most students accomplish that goal, some personal bests were simply mind-blowing. Well, my best was what I got, which was uh, 279. Sometimes I put them in like uh, small groups or like in, I imagine them like phone numbers. I usually find five or six numbers and say them a bunch of times and then try and add them on to what I know. It depends in which spots because in some spots on the paper it's easier um, just to say it like 3.14 rather than 3.1415. It just it's easier but in some parts it's easier because you remember it more with putting it in numbers like 450, 28410. Two. Oh, good job. Oh. 129 numbers of oh. pi. As a kid, I have to tell you, I never knew what pi actually meant. I knew it was 3.14. And if you ask any adults my age or a little bit younger, they'll say the same thing. We didn't really know what pi was. Whereas these kids in grade five, they're able to start thinking about it so that when they get into grade eight, they'll recognize pi and actually what it means in situations where you would use it. It's, it's impressive to see that they are excited about math. That's another thing. Um, you often see kids that are very disgruntled by it. This, they're excited to do it and they know, they feel they can succeed and I, I love that part. I'm so amazed. I don't know what happens in their brain to make that occur, but whatever it is, I would love to have some. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Tommy Johnson.